look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This thing is the size of my whole body. My YouTube? Oh, for sure, bro. Definitely support. It's Kells. You want to be on the channel? You want to say what's up? Yeah, you know. We out here. Yeah, yeah we out here. Hey. Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kels, and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're here out enjoying the good weather, man. We're actually gonna wrap up this season of Mush Hot Food with this episode here, episode 10, man. So if you guys are ready for some more amazing Mush Hot Food, you know I am, let's do it. Hi right, guys, we're here in Upper West Side in front of Jacob's Pickles, a really well-known Southern comfort food place, man. Let's go in there and get some amazing food. Let's do it. I right, got some shit outside Jacob's Pickles, and I got the biscuits, and they look fire right now, man. Waiting on the food, but yo, these biscuits look crazy. Look how big these things are, man. This thing is the size of my whole body. This is a lot of cornbread right here, guys. There's a lot of different sauces and stuff, but we're gonna try them all and see what it's heading for. Biscuit number one, let's get it. A little bit of butter, never hurt nobody. Dang right there, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. I like the crust on the outside. Nice texture to it. Really good, man. Let's try this here. Mmm. This is really good. It's like a maple butter. It has a nice sweet taste to it. This is okay. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Fall season's here, guys. So it's about to be pumpkin flavored everything. You already know. Wow. Bro, this is fire right here. Nice and fluffy. Look how big this thing is, man. When you first bite into it, you get that nice ginger taste, but it's not too much. It's just right. A little hint of spice of nutmeg or ginger or something like that in it. But this is really good, guys. Man, the bun's cool. Yo, my YouTube. Oh, for sure, bro. Definitely support. It's Kel. Yeah, you guys want to be on the channel? Want to say what's up? Say what's up. Yeah, you know, we out here. Yeah, we out here. Hey, I say your name. Shout out where you from. Walla, Walla. I'm from Harlem, feel me? The heart of New York, you know the vibes. Okay, say that. They typing up in here, Walla. You know what I'm saying? All right, okay. All right, Harlem. Birthplace of the blackness. Word, that's what's up. Town of the blackness. That's what's up. I love the support from y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's get back to this food. Let's do it. Just came through with the comfort right now, guys. It looks crazy. Look at this thing. Appreciate you playing. Yeah, Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. French toast with the crispy chicken and the strawberries on top of it. My mouth is just salivating, showing you the food right now. I cannot wait to taste it. We gotta cut this thing up, man. Dang, he's dripping, boy. Let's taste it, guys. Bro. Wow. The first thing you taste is the crispiness of the chicken. When you bite down into it, you get that nice, crunchy sensation. It's definitely seasoned very well. This is amazing, guys. After you bite into the crispiness of the chicken, you taste that nice big burst of fresh strawberry as a sweetness, and this is litty, man. And this thing right here is almost cooked to perfection, guys. Look at how the French toast is prepared, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The nice doughy consistency from it has a sweet and savory buttery taste to it as well. This is crazy right here, man. I don't even know what to tell y'all. Jacob's Pickles, y'all out here doing something, man. I love to come through here. You guys have to come through and try it, man, because it's amazing Southern comfort food. Everything comes out in great big portions, so you definitely get your bang for your buck. So we're gonna start with the biscuits here. Scale of one to five, five being the best I've ever had, one being not so great. The regular biscuit from Jacob's Pickles, we're gonna give this a 4.2. Really good, super fluffy, like the texture, the honey, the butter, the maple butter, actually add another element to it, so really good. We're gonna give this one here a 4.6, guys. Really surprising the taste, ginger, spicy, nutmeggy, very fresh. So for the classic French toast, a 4.7, man. 
is a bread pudding with ice cream on top of it. Look at this thing. Mm. Wow. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Say hi YouTube. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're gonna head to the next spot, man. So I'll see you guys in a second. Here we go. Okay, guys, we made it to Flo de Mayo, which is a Chinese Peruvian fusion restaurant here on the Upper West Side, man. So if you guys are ready for some amazing food, you know I am, let's do it. Because it's a Chinese Peruvian restaurant, you cannot go without ordering the Peruvian chicken, man. So that's exactly what we got, guys. We got the half chicken. This thing looks like a full chicken. We got the yellow rice and some salad as well, man. And we got some black beans as well, man. So this right here, guys, is about to put me in a straight food coma right here, man. Yes, sir. That's sour. Uh-huh. It's crazy how all these ingredients, when separate, they're fire. When you put them together, bro, it's like Captain Planet, blood. With all my powers combined. That's crazy. The rice is bussin', the beans is bussin', bussin'. Now let's try the chicken, guys. Look how well seasoned that joint is right there. Look at the white meat in there. How you can see it's just tender still. Why you gotta do me like that? Let me explain to you what Peruvian chicken does to you, man. It teases you with the sense of smell because it's just simmering all in the general area that you're in. The golden brown color of it just entices you when you bite into it. The first thing you taste is the savoriness of the chicken. The marination is at an all-time high. I don't know what they marinate this thing with. Whatever they do is one of a kind, man. Florida Mayo, one of my favorite spots to come and eat. You guys definitely have to come through and try it. I'm about to dunk that thing like two, three LeBron James, baby. Mm-hmm. That good old dippage. Mmm. Bro, these beans taste like barilla sauce, bro. It tastes like council, man. Mmm. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I'm only eating a salad right now, because I know my mom is watching. She's gonna say, boy, you better eat your greens. Shout out, mama. I love you. You already know. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I like about the rice and beans, nice full flavor to it. You know, when you put them together, you're definitely better than when they are separate. When it comes to the Peruvian chicken, guys, from Flor de Mayo, I'm gonna give this a 4.5, guys. Really that good, man, like I said. One of the better places I've ever had Peruvian chicken from before, and it hits every single time. Yo, we've been going in here, guys. I think it's time to call it quits on this right here for sure. So good, so delicious. Definitely come through and support, man. I'm about to wrap this thing up, and we head to the next spot. Let's do it. All right, guys, we made some milk bar right there behind us. Let's go in there and get some fire dessert, man. Let's do it. They have cookies, they have chocolate cakes, they have saucer, they have slices of cake, which is exactly what we got, man. What is this, guys? It's a birthday cake slice, man. If you haven't heard about Milk Bar, it's one of the more popular places in the city to go and get dessert. They have amazing selections, man. And every time I go there, usually it's packed. Look at how it's prepared. Nice and soft on the bottom, colorful. Look at that. I'm gonna try to eat this thing without dropping it. Top thing. Let's try it. Mm. Wow, first thing you taste is the velvetiness of the actual cake. It's so soft. I don't even know if velvetiness is actually a word. I just made that up. It's not, it's definitely official right now because this is exactly what it is. Velvetiness, guys. This is different, yo. This is fuego. Mm. One of five, five being the best I've ever had. One being not so great, 
We're gonna give the birthday cake slice from Milk Bar a 4.6, guys. It's really that fire, man. I spent about 11 bucks for the slice, which is a little expensive, but it's definitely enough to share between two people, so you can definitely get something and indulge with someone else, man. All right, guys, I'm about to wrap this thing up right here, and I'll see you guys in a second. You already know. All right, guys, I pretty much wrapped up an episode for today. We came out, had some more amazing must try food here in the city, man. Like I said before, guys, this pretty much concludes season one of must try food here in NYC, man. All 10 episodes were fire. Thanks for all the feedback. Thanks for all the love. I appreciate you guys. To the next one, guys, your boy Kells. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. We out.